Hello, welcome back to our studio practice again. Today, we are going to experience the workflow for unwrapping a simple polygon mesh UV. Before we begin with our practice, you will need to download this simple working file via our Olive online system. UV unwrapping is always a meticulous process if you are not familiar with the workflow. For instance, to unwrap this sample object, you are advised to have at least some form of planning in your head before you start. In order to unwrap these objects efficiently, you need to learn to see things in the projection mindset of planar mapping. You can start by breaking down an object's faces into several regions, which can be easily planar mapped with. All these are good mental exercise as it would help you to plan for better UV layout. So let's get started. First of all, let's try to reorganize our workspace for accommodate the workflow of UV unwrap. As you can see, the UVs for this object is in a mess and we need to unwrap and organize it into a perceivable state. For instance, you can make use the planar mapping approach which you have learned from the last practice. But for today's learning, we are going to use an alternate method by making use of automatic mapping approach. The automatic mapping approach is one of the convenient ways for helping us to unwrap a mesh UV in a proportion. However, its given default layout is always far from optimized. We would need to rework the entire layout manually. And here are the working steps for improving the existing layout. First of all, let's move all the UVs out of the space. Later, we are going to reorganize and stitch it into a fewer pieces as we can. You will need to be more careful when working with UV points. Try not to select the wrong UV point before you translate it back. To speed up the selection process, you can consider by select the face, then convert your selected face into UV points. Next, there is one thing that you need to take note of. The UV editor will highlight any interconnected polygonal edges even if it is being set apart. It is a helpful visual indicator that would aid us to locate separated edges and stitch them back later. In the following steps, I will demonstrate how to cut and stitch UV edges.
All right, we are almost done with the stitching process with most of the UV edges. What's left for us is to rearrange these UVs into a much optimized layout. This might take a while for us to cast in the decisions. And here marks the end of part 1 demonstrations. Please proceed to the second part of the demonstrations, where I will induce you to snapshot your UV layout and bring it into Photoshop.